right. Hey there guys, Kyle here from AndroidCentral.com and today we're going to be looking at Froyo, that's Android 2.2 running on the Verizon Droid Incredible. So first things first, let's make sure that I've actually got Froyo running here. There you go, Android 2.2, awesome. So probably the first major feature we're going to talk about is going to be the 720p video recording. And as some of you may know, the Droid Incredible is actually supposed to get it a while back, but that update got rolled into the Froyo update. So let's go ahead and make sure we've got it on the phone here. There we go, 720p. And you still, of course, have your lower resolution formats if you want to use those for whatever reason. Ooh. <laughs> now, another cool feature is that when you hold down the home button, like thus, it's going to bring up a list of your eight most recently used apps. Now in Eclair, it used to be six and it used to have a different effect. It was like a little green green box. It looks pretty fugly in my opinion. Now you have a nice, elegant, modern sort of fade out effect here. You can kind of see the HTC weather and time widget at the top there. Pretty slick. So what we're going to open up now is going to be the web browser and we're going to load Android Central. Now I'm loading the full version of the site here so you can get a sort of impression of how much faster the just-in-time compiler chews through Java code and loading up pictures and whatnot. I am running off Wi-Fi so you have to take that in consideration. There we go. Very nice and smooth as always. Zooming, tapping, all that good stuff. And of course now we have 720 degrees of motion. Awesome. But that's not really what you guys were looking for. You want to know about Flash. Yes, Flash is fully baked into the phone now. And we're going to load up probably my favorite Flash website. It's Homestar Runner. And we're going to take a take a quick look at the video here. here. Once again with the email. Every week I hope that it's from a female. Oh man, it's not from a female. Hey, strong man. Can you draw a dragon? I want to see your skills of an artist. Okay. Well, G2G, guys are from California. The dragon? That's easy. Feel free to follow along with my simple step-by-step -step instructions. I'm a drawing fun. To begin, draw an F or snake. All right, that's enough strong bad for now. I can't dedicate this entire video to showing you guys awesomeness of Trogdor, unfortunately. All right, moving on. We're gonna check out moving apps to the SD card. So to do that, we're gonna go into settings, applications, and we're gonna go into manage. Now, also a cool new feature, which I didn't even know about, was that HTC has sort of redesigned this interface here. Much quicker, much slicker, much easier to use than the previous version. You have these sort of tabs at the top let you find what you're looking for easier. You've got downloaded, running, all, and then on SD card. So we'll check here. You can see I've got AppBrain and Galcon already on the SD card. Let's go to downloaded and oh, we'll put beautiful widgets. Oh, that doesn't have an SD card option. <laughs> Facebook, nope. Amazon MP3, nope. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the Amazon MP3 here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the AppBrain app to the SD card. Go ahead and click on that. It's working and it's done. Awesome, very quick, very easy to use. Very cool if you're running low on app storage for whatever reason. Next thing we're gonna look at will be app sharing. So basically what you can do with this feature is email or otherwise share the apps that you have with other users. So let's go ahead and do AppBrain again. We're gonna go to share, AppBrain, and of course you're gonna bring up sort of the standard share via options. Pretty cool. Next up, we're gonna look at the 3G mobile hotspot app. Again, this was one of the features that was gonna be rolled out in that 720p video update that got rolled into Froyo. So click on it here. 
And again, this feature, like on the Droid X and Droid 2, is gonna run you about 20 bucks a month extra, and it'll let you tether other devices to your phone and basically use it as a MiFi, much cheaper MiFi. And of course, I haven't owned pay for it, so I would have to set up all this stuff. We'll just get back out. Next up, by popular demand, HTC's flashlight. So this is pretty, pretty cool. You click on this button and it will actually activate the LEDs on the back. And it's got three different settings of brightness. So on this last last one, it's, it's a bit ridiculous. I won't try to blind you guys. Pretty awesome, pretty cool feature here. Very unique in my opinion. And another thing that I can't really show you because quite honestly, I don't have a ton of apps to download right now is that apps seem to download much faster. And also uh, as you dr Droid Incredible users should know, the phone does tend to slow down a little bit if you're downloading and installing more than like one or two apps. I can definitely say that this feature is much improved. Basically apps will download much quicker. They won't slow down the phone anymore if you're downloading like five or six of them. It's really great. HTC has done a lot of work to optimize that and I'm really happy. So one of the last major features of Froyo we're gonna check out here is gonna be the voice commands. So you see you have a new sort of interface when you hold it. We're gonna to go to help really quick here and you can see send a text, call, send email, whatever, whatever, go to, you can load up uh, websites here. So I'll send a text message to my mom, let's see here. Text to mom, hey, what's up? There we go, and you can see here, I'll obscure that, the message has uh, popped up very faithfully, very cool. All right, that's major rundown of the new features in Froyo for the Droid Incredible. Hopefully all of you guys will be updated soon and be basking in Android 2.2 in its glory. Other than that, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.